Hello, curls. It's Yolanda Renee again. So, you guys, um, today I figured we could do just like um, a take my hair down video. Uh, it's not gonna be a <laughs> it's not gonna be a tutorial, but I just figure since you guys haven't seen me really style my short hair yet and I haven't filmed yet, I might as well do this kind of impromptu chit chat video. Um, yeah, so um, let's get started. <laughs> So here are all my products that I've been using lately. But yeah, this is the Put In Perfection. It is so freaking bomb. This one. That's what I used on my hair last night. And really, that's all you need. You don't even have to use anything else. Like, just that product is good. And, you know, use an oil. But yeah, these are just some of the products that I have that I've been using. CGIN, Curls, Mayo. I have my little Carol starter stash over here. Who we have up here? Um, Design Essentials Naturals. Their Coconut and Manoi line. Aunt Jackie's. I really love Aunt Jackie's. Lotta Body. Alley K. Um, Soap and Glory back there. Eva NYC. I'm missing... Um, their deep conditioner, which I've been using lately, is in the bathroom. And then this is my 80 Pro, 180 Pro collection. Did y'all see the paintings? <laughs> goodwill a long time ago so my hair is looking crazy right now but last night I basically um what did I have last night I had well I think my hair was just in a twist out last night too but instead of um just letting it be because I'm not the type of naturalista who can just go to bed with her hair you know in a one day twist out and keep doing it like I have to retwist at night that's just that's just who I am um so last night what I did is I used this put in perfection from um cream of nature and I just wanted to touch base on that you guys I love cream of nature like yes I was over my red hair like so over that red hair but I still love cream of nature I love their color I love their products all that good stuff and they did when we did that um color crush series they did let us know that we could be 100% honest about our experience and everything so I don't have to save face or anything I really was just over the color, okay? <laughs> um, but this put-in perfection is amazing. You can use this by itself and your hair will be popping. Especially if you have type 4 hair. Of course, puddings are thicker products, so they really do an amazing job on our, our hair. When I use this, you would swear I had like 3A or 3C hair or something, or I don't know, 3B, whatever. Um, but yeah, this really does do a good job on our hair. Um, let's see. It says it's perfect for twist out, shingling, updos, coiling, TWAs, and wash and goes. For curl elongation, use a blow dryer with nozzle attachment. I haven't tried that. Um, but yeah, it's a butter blend and it has argan oil. So it kind of, it has everything you need, even though it's not separated and you can't actually layer, layer it on your hair. But it already has the pudding, it already has the oils, and your hair should be bomb. So after I twisted my hair with that, I did go in and use some um, Jamaican black castor oil on my edges. And I also used it a little bit on my scalp area too. Um, but yeah, my hair is super shiny black and I'm just excited to take this down. So yeah. Oh yeah, so um, I'm drinking a juice today. I'm still juicing, you guys, but... 
I don't post about it that often because I usually just stick to the same juice, which is the green lemonade. And that recipe is bomb. I'll put the recipe after this. Oh, on Snapchat, I was I did a tutorial. Oh, Snapchat. Let's talk about that. So, Snapchat. Let me do my hair while I'm talking. So, Snapchat is so cool, you guys. Because... You know, on YouTube, I want my, my videos to be professional. Um, I want them to be nice and edited. I want lighting to be dope, hair, makeup looking bomb, and, um, you know, all that good stuff. So it takes a lot of work to do YouTube videos. But on Snapchat, Snapchat is more laid back. You can just do videos to post, um, and then they erase after 24 hours, I think. So this morning I did a Snapchat story on my juice. So I did a full video and I also did a video how I do my um, flat layouts of my um, Instagram picture. So I took a picture of the um, finished juice and I showed you like the lighting setup, you know, what I use as the background and all that good stuff. But y'all, Snapchat is tripping. It like crashed today. And I've only been on the app for like two days and I'm like hooked. And then they just take it away from me. I'm like, really? Why? Um, so I didn't get to post it. I mean, it's not even on there. So I did all that hard work for nothing. But I'll probably do another one once it's backed up. See, you guys, look how bomb this is. My hair feels and looks freaking awesome. This is the best my hair has looked in a long time. And it's from that put in perfection. Um, but today, I figure I would want to make my twist out longer. You know, because, you know, after a few days, it starts to stretch a little bit. So instead of making it so short and shrunken, I would just not put much water on it. Just use product. Then also put a scarf on to stretch it. Um, but yeah, so Snapchat is fun. Follow me on Snapchat, you guys. And um, I guess you guys leave your Snapchats below as well. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Oh, so since Snapchat was down, then I decided to, I posted a picture of my juice on Instagram and gave people the recipe. And then I was on um, Twitter, which I suck at Twitter. I suck at all apps except Instagram and YouTube. I love uh, Instagram and YouTube the best. But, um... I've been like putting effort in this week to try other apps. It's a lot of work. It's hard. Um, so yeah, so on Twitter, I've been posting a little bit. And some of the questions I asked on Twitter, which you guys can um, talk about in the comments too, is I was thinking about um, partnering with some of my favorite brands. And being exclusive to them. Because I've been in the game for a minute now. And I know what I like. And so instead of me trying to work with all. Or trying to work with brands that are coming out with new products. So I can, you know, test the products out and stuff. Why can't I just use my favorite brands? And stick with them and just focus more on styling and healthy hair instead of so much products, you know? So I was thinking about that. So I wanted to know your opinions on that. If your favorite YouTubers started just using one brand or one to three brands solely, what would you think? Would you think their opinions on the products are biased because... They partnered with those brands and not just on a one-time basis type of deal. Like, how would you feel? I think it's an awesome conversation. And I want to know your 
answer or your opinion on it. Um, and then that leads me into the other question on Twitter. I put, what are your top three brands? What are your top three? If you did, if you only were allowed to use three brands and nothing else, what would it be? And I'll tell you right now, my top three, my top three would definitely be, um, first of all, Eden Body Works would be number one. Uh, then it would be Cream of Nature. And then I was thinking my third one would be TGIN or maybe Carol's Daughter. Even though I do love Mata Body, all of the brands that I showed you on my little, um, my little stand would be my favorite. So when I'm styling my hair, I always get confused on how I want to have the front. The back is easy, but the longer layers, I never know if I want them to all come forward. But anyway, so yeah, let's finish talking, you guys. So where was I? Um, was I talking about Snapchat or brands? Oh, yeah, I think we were talking about brands. What's your top three brands? What are your thoughts on YouTubers just using like, like one brand or one to three brands? Like what are your thoughts? Would you think that would be kind of shady? Or would you trust it because you know they have been using all these different brands and they finally found the ones that they really can vouch for? Hopefully that is your response. But be honest, this is a great topic. Um, oh yeah, so lipstick, in case anybody was wondering. Yo, like seriously, I've been through so many of these lipsticks. This is MAC Ruby Woo. Always my all-time favorite red lipstick. This time... I was actually toying with getting this one or I think the other one is, I don't know, it's the MAC Red or something. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I think you, um, hopefully you guys like this video and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.